Hello, people of the internet, and thank you for 200 subscribers. Today we're playing A Day the Noobs Took Over Roblox 2, and this is a walkthrough of the main story because I already completed this main story. But anyways, it's time to find our sh shopping... I almost said shopping keys. House keys, shopping list, and then after the shopping list we gotta get groceries, aka food. I say after the shopping list because the game actually forces you to get the shopping list first. Anyways, after you get the shopping list, gotta get the gotta go to a grocery store, get food, which is block smart. Anyways trying to like glitch on top. I I've never been able to glitch on top of here. Like cor corner clipping has been patched. Corner clipping's been patched, so can actually can't actually like uh, can't do it. Ah, uh, uh, can't do it. Whatever. Gotta go to Block Smart over here to try to get the food. There's also somewhat a speed run because I'm. So I can like put this all into a video, a single video, it's like under 13 minutes, which is probably not going to happen and I'm probably going to have to split this into two parts. Anyways, the police station, this police station is where the keys are, you have to get the keys here. And then now that you have everything, you gotta go home, which is this 2008 Red Roofed Happy Home in Robloxia. Which actually has a second floor because this is a modern Roblox game and not. Dang it, I didn't make it to the desk! Anyways, like now. <coughs> now this is just a transition, but the story goes. The story now goes like. It was Wave of Noobs going. You tried to one run away with a bunch of people, but the noobs captured you, so they took you to... Roblox's most secure jail. <laughs> now it's time to play Jailbreak, but much easier. Okay, so this stage you gotta jump with the lasers. People get tricked by this, I think. You can actually just walk underneath that. I think you have an even s if I think if you have an even smaller character somehow, you can go underneath of this. I don't know. I don't know how that's possible, considering how this game is R6 and not R15. But anyways, there's some simple lava jumps. Now I have to. Now I have to do the code. The code is one three three seven. Anyways, after you touch those spawns, you gotta go over to here. And this music makes me very nostalgic because it's the theme of, uh, like, the last part where there's actually a pool where it was much harder for me to beat the part, but whatever. Now I just gotta jump across some wobbly lights. Oh, didn't even jump. Anyways, I'll... I'll I'll cut the video to to the part where where the we're gonna get to. Anyways, after this and after the wobbly platforms and after you jump over that, you gotta go over here to a pool. To the training pool. Which is where I told you that music from before made made me very nostalgic with with like This obby had harder obstacles, is what I'm supp what, which is what I was trying to say. I almost fell. Stinky. Right there, you go. 
Anyways, now we have to... Now we have to stinky and go to the police car. I don't know why, but I like to say stinky, because it's like, STINKY! <laughs> STINKY! Let's beat this. Now, we've got to go over here. This way. Over here. What? I didn't even press tab. How'd that open? Whatever. And uh, now we gotta go over here, and we gotta drive the police car to chapter three. Anyways, here in chapter three, uh, <coughs> get a speed coil, a map, and a compass here. The compass has arrows that point to like where Prince and Princess Noob are, because you need to get their crowns to go into an elevator to chapter four. And the map just tells you where you are and the speed coil is for traveling around faster and dude the speed coil is so slow why can't i just have a faster speed coil well you've well if you go over here to this junkyard over here you're you're going to the right place because there's actually a faster speed coil over here there it is Faster speed coil. Look how much faster this is. <coughs> I actually use this speed coil a lot more than the normal speed coil now. Also, humans, funny car. That there's a number on the back that counts down. That's how many seconds you got to drive the car before it eventually explodes and you can't use it anymore. Fun times! <laughs> it was time to go to Prince Noob's castle. That's a noob up there, by the way, I think. Check that out. But anyways, gotta go to... Uh. Also, look at this. They made the blocks more slippery. <laughs> oh, <man! laughs> what? <laughs> Ta-da! I failed on this obby, and I'm going to succeed by using coils. Did you know that... <coughs> Did you know that Duke's Towers of Heck was actually about to have a speed item barrier? Anyways, you gotta defeat Prince Noob here. Probably just cut to the end, cut the video to the end, to the, to the end of the boss fight when I'm done with this. Anyways, after after you do that, I almost died. Anyways, after you do that, and you obtain after you defeat Prince Noob, you obtain Prince Noob's crown. Now you gotta go through this long tunnel up to a secret area where Princess Noob is. I'll cut the video to that area because it it takes a while in real time. It'll take a second for you. Anyways, now here out of- Once you emerge out of that tunnel, and you go down here, there should be a hill down here, and then an entrance that says, stay out. This is Prince Noob's- or Princess Noob's palace. And you gotta talk to her. Now this boss fight is actually optional. You can say, I don't want to fight. And she'll just give you her crown. As long as you say- As long as you don't say, actually- as long as you don't say, prepare to die on the last text box. I accidentally said that once. Oh wow, she actually sm What? <laughs> she smiled, I didn't even notice that before. Anyways, now, you're done with fighting and obtaining crowns and stuff. Now you gotta go up here, go to the tolling station and find the, find the thing, Jigger. What's it called? The elevator. Uh, I'll cut the video to when I get to the elevator. Here's the tolling station, by the way. Alright, we're- We've arrived at the elevator. Also, earlier I meant to say, I'll cut to the elevator. I accidentally said, I'll cut when I get to the elevator. Also, I meant to say, I'll cut to when I get to the elevator. But anyways, 
this barrier actually kills you if you don't have both Prince Noob and Princess Noob's crown. Also, your compass, once you've defeated... Once you've defeated Prince Noob and obtained Princess Noob's crown, it'll actually point to the elevator, which is cool. Also, I know how to uh, make the, the elevator jitter a little bit. You gotta, like, spam that button over there. <coughs> but, uh... Don't work now. <coughs> Anyways, once you do that, you get teleported to chapter 4. Um, I'll just end it here real quick to make a part 2. So I hope you guys liked, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this and bye bye. This will pro part 2 will probably update or uh, er, upload today. Bye.